Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have a very, very cool gadget. This is the TacLife P30 portable power station. So this is a power station that offers 299 watt hours, and it can be charged three different ways, through solar, through the DC port in your car, and also you can plug it into a wall using an AC adapter. And then you can also charge devices with it using USB. You can plug in normal AC house plugs to it, and it can also power anything that uses DC power. All that for around $260 on Amazon, so check the description to find that price. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Now, the box I have is a little bit beat up. I think that's because it was a review unit. TacLife did send this to me to review, so thank you very much for sending me this device. But as you can see, the packaging inside of the box is very protective with tons of this foam protecting the actual power station. So on top, we have an envelope. This contains a user's manual and then some warranty information. Then we have this box containing some of the accessories. So it looks like right here we have the wall adapter to charge it using AC power, the DC adapter for charging it in your car or truck, something like that, and then the adapter to actually charge DC devices. So you plug this into the power station and then you can plug anything in here, just like the cigarette lighter in your car. And then the last thing they include is a little USB LED light. Pretty cool to have that. So you can plug this in and then you have some light coming from the power station. And then right here, we have the actual power station. So right off the bat, my first impression is the size of this. It really is not that big. At only about 10 inches long, five inches wide, and then the height of it is about six inches. So that makes it really easy to bring with you anywhere. If you're gonna be bringing it like maybe car camping or on a trip, something like that because of the size. Let's go over what all this is. So first, starting on the outside here, we have some USB outputs. So on the left side, you have type C, and that's gonna be the connectors that you can use to charge your computer, to charge maybe a Chromebook, a MacBook, or even a phone. And on the right side, we have these USB connectors that can be used to charge your phone or really any kind of USB device. One of them is a quick charger, so that's gonna output a little bit more power. So that's awesome. Then we have these two rows of 12 volt outage, and that's where you can plug in the little adapter for your car's DC port. So if you plug this in right here, you can plug any DC devices and power them using this device. Very cool there. And now let's turn on this little power button right here, which will turn on the display. So it's a very clear display, nice and bright, so you'll be able to see it at night. And on the left side, we have a battery meter that just tells you the battery life in this device overall. When you're charging the TacLife P30, the backlight will come on and the battery meter will show that it's being charged and also the current charge level. As you can see, it says DC right here. That is because currently the DC power is the only thing that you can actually use on this. To use the AC power, which are gonna be these two plugs right here that look just like the plugs you have in your house, to use those, you actually have to turn on the AC converter. So if I do that, you'll hear the fans kick on because it does use a little bit of power out of the battery to actually run that converter. It's not gonna be much. I would think between five and seven watts an hour. So I'll just turn it on. You hear the fan kick on and then it says AC right here. So right now, all of the different outputs available on this device, including the AC outputs right here, are turned on and ready to use. I can turn that off again by just selecting AC, and then it will switch back to DC. And now these AC plugs on the right side will not work, but I could still use the DC ports on the front to power maybe like an electric blanket that's DC, or to charge my phone or computer using the USB connectors. So really on the front here, you have the DC outputs, you have the display, and then you have the power button for the AC converter. Moving over to the right side, this is where you have the two AC plugs for using AC power out of the P30. And as you can see, these are gonna be just like the ones you have in your house. And they do have compatibility with plugs that have a ground wire, so you shouldn't have any issues there. And I really like how they include two plugs here. So that means you don't have to bring power strip or something like that. You can just bring the device and be able to power two separate AC devices devices at the same time. Moving over to the back here, not a lot going on, just a little bit of information about the capacity and then the different outputs that are included. On the left side of the device, we have one connector and this is going to be an input connector. So this is how you charge the device either through AC, DC, or solar. 
if you use a solar panel. Now, if you are using solar to power this, you will have to have an adapter for your solar panels. So check the description because I'll link to one that is compatible with this device. And then down here, we have a fan just to keep the battery nice and cool while you're using the AC converter. On the top here, we have a really nice handle that is actually big enough for large hands to hold. And I also like that it compresses down low. That just keeps the device more portable. But then when you're carrying it, it gives you more clearance for your hands. So if you have gloves on, something like that, you're not gonna have any problems holding holding this. It also is a rubber, so it provides some grip as well. Looking at the bottom of the device, you have four rubber grips on each corner, and that's really nice because it provides a nice grip if you have it on a table or something, you don't have to worry about it slipping off and falling. When talking about the build quality of the TacLife P30, the buttons will have a nice feeling to them, and you get a nice sound when you press it which is always a nice quality. None of the plastic is loose. None of the connectors are loose. The only thing I would say is the plastic seems to be a little bit on the cheaper side when you're feeling it, but I still think it would be sturdy enough to, if this fell, it wouldn't just fall apart. All right, so now that we've taken a closer look at the look and the design of the TacLife P30, I've gone ahead, fully charged it, so it's ready to be tested. Now I'll go through, try to run down the battery on it, and we'll see how it performs. All right, so I've completed some testing on the TacLife P30, and overall, I have to say that I'm pretty happy with it. Before we get into the testing results, let's go into how long it takes to charge the P30 from completely dead. And I found that to be around six and a half hours using the AC adapter. Now that's gonna be around the same for the DC adapter. And unfortunately, I was unable to test charging this device with a solar panel just because I don't have the adapter. This connector is a little bit smaller than the one that I have. So I conducted three different tests of this device. The first was a 75 watt light bulb. And through my estimates, I expected it to be able to run the light bulb for around three hours and 24 minutes. Now the results were, I was able to run that light bulb for about three hours and 15 minutes. So I would say that's a successful test result there. My second test was a 43 inch TV, and I was actually able to run that for one hour and 40 minutes when I was only expecting it to be able to run for one hour and about 21 minutes. So that was also positive there. Now things like volume on the TV and also brightness will affect those, so just keep that in mind. My third and final test was running my laptop, which is a Dell G3, so that's a gaming laptop, and then a 28-inch 4K monitor. And I was able to do that for around three hours and 31 minutes. So I really found that to be a surprise, and I was very happy with that, that if the power goes out, I can run my laptop and monitor for a very long time, and hopefully until the power turns back on. A couple issues I ran into while actually running the test on the P30, where first, you cannot use the AC connectors or the AC inverter while you're charging this device. If you plug it in to charge it, it turns off the AC inverter and only the DC ports will work. So you can still charge via USB and you can charge via the uh, DC adapters. So that's just something to note before you get it. I think that's a little bit of a limitation, but it's not that bad. Another issue I found with the AC inverter on this is that if you're not using it, so you have nothing plugged on and by accident this button gets hit for turning on the AC inverter or you just leave it on, it does not have any sort of automatic timeout. It'll just stay on and slowly deplete the battery in the P30. So that's something to keep in mind. You wanna get in the habit of always turning off the AC inverter when you're done with it or just turning off the device completely by hitting the power button. I also found that I did not find this display to be very useful. Yeah, it does show you what's on either DC or AC, and it shows you the battery life in this little kind of battery icon, but I would prefer to have a percentage of the battery life. I think that's way more useful, especially in predicting how long I'm gonna be able to use different devices on it. I will also wish it gave me some indication of how much was being actually used of the device. I have a Jackery power station, and it does say that, and I found that to be extremely useful when trying to predict how long I'm gonna be able to power something with it. Another issue I found was with the USB connectors over here. They don't really have a tight grip on the cable. When you put it in, it comes out very easily. And that's not a huge problem, but if you have this in a car or a tent or something, I could see the cable being taken out very easily, which could be a problem if you're trying to charge like a phone or a flashlight while you're sleeping. Other than those small issues I found with the P30, I do like this device. I think it has a very nice large battery capacity of 299 watt hours. I really like that they have two AC connectors, means you can use two devices at the same time without having to have any sort of adapter with you. And then I also like how you get all these different USB connectors and DC adapters adapter ports and everything on the front. That's really cool. A lot of devices only have maybe one or two USB connectors, but this you could charge four phones at the same time or a phone and a tablet or even a MacBook, something like that. So very cool. 
The handle makes it extremely portable and it's really not that heavy for the very large battery life that it has. Now, if you're trying to figure out if your device will be able to be powered by the TacLife P30, check the description because I've created a spreadsheet that'll allow you to estimate if it will be able to power your devices. So if you go to that spreadsheet, you enter the watts per hour that your device uses. So like a 75 watt light bulb, you would put 75 watts and then it will estimate how long that device should be able to run. It also has the average usage for several household devices below. So you should be able to estimate from there. I think it's important to see that information so that you have a good expectation for a device like this. Even though this has a large battery life, it won't run large devices for a long time. And sometimes it won't even be able to power them at all. I tried to plug in a mini fridge into this device and it would not even turn on the AC inverter, which sucks because you can't power a mini fridge, but it also is a positive because the TacLife P30 was able to recognize, hey, this device is drawing too much energy. I'm not gonna allow it to run at all to be able to protect all the electronics in this device. So I think that's pretty cool that it was able to protect itself from being overdrawn. All right, so that was my review of the TacLife P30. Overall, I really like this device. It has a large battery life of 299 watt hours, and the price is really not that bad at an average of about a dollar per watt hour. So really not bad at all. If you have any questions about the TacLife P30, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link in the description below so you can find this exact device on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.